Okay, let's talk about artificial intelligence. And I show how for a very good reason. Artificial intelligence is an extremely old, very abused term. It comes from the 1950s. Marvin Minsky, Dartmouth University. He was trying to raise money from the military, building automation. He succeeded, but that's the first time the term artificial intelligence is used. We don't hear it until how? Until 1968, 2001, a space odyssey. That's the first time the general public heard the phrase artificial intelligence, and then it tried to kill everybody. Setting up our relationship with artificial intelligence, right? That's just how it's always worked. Terminator, it's all the same thing over and over again, right? The tropes make us weird about this. Here's the way I talk about artificial intelligence. AI is the term you use for a technology that doesn't work. The moment it does work, it gets a new name. It becomes predictive analytics or vision systems, right? There's all of them. As long as it doesn't work, it's AI. When it does work, it'll be peeled off. And this is actually a very clever graphic because the shortest lines, the planning, scheduling, optimization, that's the tech that Minsky worked on in the 50s for the US military. Expert systems came in the 1970s. The original speech recognition systems of the late 80s and 90s, those are the ones you had to train over and over and over again. Then we got into better natural lasting processing, and then you get these latest lines. In about around 2011, 2012, we had a new generation of neural nets appear. That's when stuff like Siri turned up, where now you didn't have to train for speech, it just worked, right? It was a, ma a machine learning model trained on a huge amount of voice so that it could recognize anybody's voices, except Australians. And I say that, you know, it's kind of a joke, not actually a joke. That was the one area it didn't work all that well on.